come on in. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I am so excited to give you a fantastic tour of today's 2022 Newmar. Uh, this is a Ventana, and it is magnificent. All sorts of new features to tell you about. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please follow us, like below. If you have any questions, uh, this is a live video. We do these every day of the week, Monday through Friday. And today's video is really fun because the 2022 product has uh, several new features. Uh, first and foremost, we're looking at the Gotham interior today, which is a new color for uh, the 2022 model lineup. We're also going to be looking at the Colfax exterior, which is a new color for 2022 as well. And then thirdly, we're going to be listening, looking at the um, toffee glazed maple. And so this toffee glazed maple finish is a really nice light wood and uh, it's fantastic. We haven't had a new wood color for quite some time and this replaces last year's caramel color. Uh, now, as usual, I like to start my RVs from the back. So Jody, take her on back. Um, I really find that starting inside out is a lot of fun. Uh, for me, if I don't like the floor plan, if I don't like the decor, I'm probably not interested in the unit. Um, so this will give you a great chance to kind of take a look around and see if the 3713 floor plan is for you. Uh, so this is, again, the Gotham decor. Um, I love the finish that you see here. Uh, this is a king size bed. One thing I wanted to make sure I made mention of, uh, this is an RV king, so it's a 72 by 80. So for those of you that were wondering a little bit about what the, uh, what the measurements were for sheets, this is an RV king, uh, so that's good to know. Uh, another nice feature of this RV, of course, is that first of all, look at all of this fantastic closet space. So I'm just gonna turn this light on for us right here and open up the other side. And you'll see we have so much hanging room in this RV. Really, really fantastic amount of space uh, to keep all of your um, all of your wardrobe. If there's a couple, I mean, you've got enough room for his and hers for sure. Of course, I would get most of it. Jason might get a little bit, but enough enough for him to have at least some hanging space and me to have the rest. Just kidding, I'll share. Um, okay, so optional Splendid washer and dryer um, is available in this unit. This unit has additional hanging space in that uh, area instead. Uh, so that's a very easy upgrade. We typically can offer you a Splendid, uh, but for some folks, they just don't feel like having a washer and dryer, something that they use very frequently. So again, tons and tons of storage. It's really fun to show you units like this that have been special ordered um, because we get to show you features um, that you don't normally see. We typically will just put the washer and dryer in you can always take it out but it's nice to see what's in there if you don't uh, pay that extra dollar for that uh, for that washer and dryer now one thing I wanted to show you is this mirrored um, this mirrored balance that you have with all of these uh, ventanas is really easy to clean if you're worried about dust by just removing it it's magnetic and it just pops back on here right into place and super simple so I think that if anyone wants to know you know, how is that for maintenance? Super easy to take care of. And one thing, you know, uh, to talk about is the segment in the boxes that this checks off. So if you're looking for something with like a design featured ceiling, you know, with all of the air conditioning ducts hidden, all the returns hidden, uh, LED lights, you know, throughout the cab. So maybe a higher end feature. If you're looking for a shorter RV, um, if it's your first time, but you wanna make sure you're getting something nice, the Ventana is a fantastic offering for you. Um, there's a lot of nice features in here that you get on you know, our Dutch Star level, our London Air level, uh, at a much lower price point. So that's a very attractive thing. This is a 373,079 MSRP. So again, under $400,000 for a ton of luxury. Again, this is a 3713, so it's 37 feet long, 10 inches. And uh, really awesome because it gets into all sorts of tight little nooks and crannies that you might not get in those larger coaches, but still has fantastic living, uh, living accommodations. Now you'll notice that uh, on either side of the headboard, we do have windows for cross ventilation, which is super, super nice. Uh, we also have fantastic storage here above and in the storage compartment, you'll note that there is uh, 110 outlets up here. 
and there are also little grommets here so you can run any kind of electrical machine that you might have that needs to come through you could also maybe run the power cord for your laptop if you wanted to be able to sit you know sit and do some work at night um, so that's kind of cool um, I love this mirrored headboard in the background everything is designed by Numar um, to give you such a nice high-end feel and one of the things that this does is just really opens up this room and then you'll note here that we have these KIB switches so new for 2022 I can actually turn on and off all of the lights from this KIB switch now if I turn them off here there's no all lights on switch but there is an all lights off switch so when it's time for bed it's really easy just to turn those off I also wanted to mention that here we have really nice nightstands with uh, two USB ports and two 110 outlets on either side of the bed and storage down below. If you're reading a sultry novel or something like that, you can go ahead and keep your water bottle and your novel next to your bed so whenever you're ready to wind down at night, everything's kind of waiting there for you. Uh, so then that's really nice that you have that on both sides. Uh, another nice feature is that you're going to have a really nice um, little ledge here that you can use. So, this, um, this dresser system provides a lot of different things. First of all, a nice place to put some of your goods and belongings out. Maybe you want to keep your jewelry out when you're getting ready for the morning or whatever. But also, what a great place to be able to take your shoes on and off and to put your socks on in the morning. Um, this is something that is really highly underrated in the RV world and really, really handy. It's just nice to be able to you know, take your socks out of your drawers, put them on. Um, as you'll note here, we have fantastic full extension drawers. Um, this maple hardwood um, is another aspect of a reason to go into the Ventana line. So this solid wood drawer is another really magnificent feature by Numar. And just having had a lot of experience um, in terms of fit and finish from other Mar RV manufacturers, uh, these solid countertops, they're really nice, um, you know, balances that you have on your windows, the MCD shades both day and night, the emergency exit here, as well as the one in the bathroom. All of these features really set Numar uh, apart uh, from a construction standpoint in terms of fit and finish. And there's a lot of other features that we'll have to cover today to really you know, explain why Numar is such a better choice in the RV market than any other manufacturer right now. Uh, so here we have the HDMI input uh, and everything that you need for this 4K smart TV, but keep in mind, um, this has the optional Wi-Fi system on here. We also offer something called Cradle Point. So if you are working from your RV, uh, Ventana offers 11 models. Um, they have five that are sub uh, 40 foot, and then they have six that are 40 feet and longer. And we do have a 43 foot offering. Uh, it's a new model this year that was specifically made for the reaction of the general population to COVID. It has a desk in it. Uh, so we've found that a lot of people are really living in their RVs and working and, 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 man and managing a business maybe mobily. So we have all sorts of outfits for you in terms of that uh, capacity. But with a cradle point, we can offer you a system that you can actually put two SIM cards in and conduct Zoom, card or Zoom calls while you're on the road. And of course, it also would allow you to download and stream all of your Hulu or Netflix on this television. So you don't necessarily need to have a Blu-ray player anymore or a cable system you can go ahead and just use a smart TV uh, now I just wanted to show you a little bit more in terms of fit and finish once again Ventana really stands out here beautiful wallpaper all the way through to the back and then nice carpet lined cabinetry once again all of this very solid really well manufactured wood is very very exciting um, so we've talked about the size of the bed we've talked a lot about the bedroom I just want to show you this solid pocket door uh, because I think that that's a really nice feature and uh, when we come through the other side, I'll show you, it. it's also decorative. So if somebody's looking at your RV from the back to the front, they'll be pretty impressed with the finish. And so before we go into the mid bath, I wanna kind of go over this pantry because this pantry is so spacious. This is a really nice attribute. The kitchen on the 3717 is probably the highest uh, selling point of this RV. Um, it has so much to offer. So two pantries, you push in to release and then pull. And these are full extension uh, cabinets. So really, really nice. They are fully adjustable. Again, they lock into place. You just push to release. Uh, that changed in 2021. So uh, 2022, we have other new features. That's not one of them. Uh, but what's nice about that is we don't have, there used to be a little silver knob on here. And if someone wasn't familiar with your RV, they'd just come in and pop it open and then break off the little plastic deal. So having that locking system is really nice. 
Uh, so this is another big feature that we should definitely cover. Um, so let's talk about cubic footage. Uh, we just had Ken Williamson come out for training. Uh, Numar is really good about training their employees. Uh, they have a very, spe um, very specific online course that you have to take on all of the units. But then they send trainers out. And something that was brought to our attention is, do you guys talk about the fact that this is a 19.7 cubic foot whirlpool? Like this is a full size residential refrigerator. You talk about the fact that it has an in-house water filter for the water disbursement in the door. Um, now I talk a lot about these refrigerators because I love the cheese tray. I love this adjustable shelf that goes up and down so you can have taller goods here. Um, so I do talk a lot about this, um, but 19.7 but liters is a really, really huge um, storage capacity. And it's just nice, you know, you've got your in-house ice maker, and then you've got your dual compartments down below. So this residential size refrigerator, for those of you who are looking to be on the road and who want to have, you know, company, you can really pull in, load up your RV, and stay out camping for a really long time, uh, you've got some pretty magnificent uh, capacities here. 105 gallons of fresh water. Okay, that's impressive. Now we used to have a much more evenly ratioed uh, gray water and black water tank. One of the improvements that we have in this RV is that we have a 75 gallon gray water tank and a 55 gallon black water tank. How smart is that? Because we all know we're not going to use nearly as much black water as we are when we shower. So with that 105 gallons of fresh water, giving us a 75 gallon gray water tank really gives us a lot better ability to stay out longer uh, and to have a higher, you know, number of days that you can go camping before you need to dump your tank. So super, super nice feature of this RV. Uh, that coupled with this huge refrigerator, you know, you want to go out for a week and go camping with your buddies, you can do that. You don't have to be plugged in. You can be wor working off of your eight kilowatt uh, Onan generator, which is on board and in the front of this RV. Uh, that is a good mention. Jody right now is standing in the bedroom. You can't hear the generator because the generator is at the front of the unit, which is really, really nice. So that's great while you're sleeping. If you've got air conditioning running and then your generator turns on, uh, because it does have auto gen, gen start for both heat, uh, heat or, or temperature, I should say, and it has it for battery level. It's just nice that when that generator kicks on, it's not underneath your bed. So that's a really cool feature. Um, on top of that, this has the four flexible 100 watt solar panels offered by Numar. So you've got 400 watts of solar, an eight kilowatt generator, a ton of water capacity, a ton of gray water, a ton of black water, and a 22 gallon propane tank. I mean, you can really stay out on uh, the, you know, out in the open road camping for a long time in this RV, which is what this RV is designed to do very comfortably, just like being at home. Um, another thing that makes it super comfortable is the fact that you have this uh, Whirlpool, uh, both microwave and uh, in convection oven. As you'll see here, uh, tons of room here. Again, just talking about that residential size capacity, if you've been thinking about upgrading your RV for a while and you haven't done it yet, these are the reasons that you might consider moving into something like this because there's so many new advantages in a newer RV. Um, not to mention, we'll get into chassis stuff in a little bit. Uh, so we've got a three burner uh, LP stove here. As you can see, it's really nice. It creates a backsplash for you since you've got the optional kitchen window. Um, another nice feature for 2022 is that these cabinets are another inch and a half tall. So it's 18.5 inches of cabinet space, just giving you a little bit more cabinet cabinet height here. Uh, and then this optional kitchen window is spectacular. And there are MCD shades here, so if you do have someone sleeping in the front or maybe you're just watching a movie, you've got a shade so you can black that out. But it's not going to get dirty because you've got that, that natural backsplash here. And then take a look at all of this room. So the 3717 uh, galley, as I mentioned, is really one of the reasons that you would consider this uh, floor plan. So this countertop moves in. Uh, so this is a three slide unit. Uh, when this moves in, uh, what ends up happening is this stays in place. So you have this natural uh, bump out in the sink area. So you have so much storage in this kitchen. Take a look at all of this cabinet space. It's really, really magnificent. And then please note that you'll see, for instance, like your full VIN numbers here, all of your paint codes are here. Uh, so, you know, your colors. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is the new Colfax exterior. So hopefully you'll see, I try to dress to match my RVs, um, but these colors on, are on the outside and they are also on my blouse and my slacks. Um, so here we go, more cabinet space as well. 
Um, again, just really spectacular offering. And then I love this dual basin stainless steel undermount sink uh, with the residential faucet head. Oh, I just got winterizer all over my hand. That's going to be slippy, sticky. Here, you know what? That's why you wear black pants in your videos. Um, here we go. So this is a really, really nice um, feature that you'll find in all of our Numars. Great place to keep a bottle brush. Uh, great place to keep your sponge. Keep that, that way you don't have to um, you know, get one of those little sink holders and then nice place for your trash can, tons of room for any kind of cleaning supplies. And then of course, because of this bump out, we have all of this drawer space. Now there is an optional, um, oh, there's the cover for the other side of the sink. There is an optional dishwasher in this unit, but when you decide not to have this unit, uh, you do get you just close that. Now just keep in mind that is not as deep as you would expect. That drawer, there's uh, some uh, apparatus underneath that, so that drawer is not as deep as you would expect. But you have these other three drawers that are, again, full extension, super high quality, really, really nice offering. Um, by Numar, tons of storage space, and that's where you could have a dishwasher if you'd like. Um, so again, this galley is just one of the one of the top reasons that you would consider um, purchasing uh, this 3717 floor plan, along with the fact that it's got a very nice towing capacity. So 10,000 pound towing capacity for those of you who want a flat tow, zero issues there. Um, it's also got a lot of, uh, so it's got an 800 foot pound uh, torque rating. And um, one of the things, so that's a 360 horsepower, 800 uh, foot pound of torque rating. A lot of people will ask me, you know, oh, don't do that. Um, almost started the stove. Uh, why would you consider a diesel engine over a gas engine? That torque rating is the number one reason. The horsepower is really not a big deal. But if you're going up and down over hills and you're going into the mountains, whether it be the Smoky Mountains or, you know, the, the Rocky Mountains, whatever, you know, wherever you happen to like to camp, having that low-end torque really gives you great climbing ability. And all diesel engines are turbo diesel injected. So TDI is what you'll hear. Um, what that means is because it's compressed oxygen um, that they're using when they make that explosion in that cylinder, what happens is that compressed oxygen has the same performance at higher altitudes as it does at lower altitudes. So you're not going to start having oxygen dep deprivation like you would in a naturally aspirated engine at the higher altitudes. So getting into this 6.7 liter ISB um, which is available on the five entry level, or I'm sorry, entry sized models of the Ventana. Um, so the 37 foot models, there's five of them all come with a 6.7 liter ISB. Uh, that really in increases your towing capacity uh, and your climbing capacity substantially uh, from a gas engine like a Baystar, for instance. Now, if you feel like you are going to be towing something heavier, maybe you've got a trailer or you want to maybe tow a car in a, in a trailer, uh, you can move into our 40 foot and higher level um, and they have a 8.9 liter ISL, which is also a diesel engine, but it has um, a tw it has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. I'm sorry, 15,000. I'll take that back. 15,000 pound towing capacity over that 10. So we do have two offerings for you in this model. Uh, the shortest that you can get that um, that sh that larger engine. Um, with that larger towing capacity is going to be a 40 foot model. So if you want to stay in the 30s, that's why this Ventana is so attractive with that great 6.7 liter ISB. Okay, so let's talk about bathrooms. Um, so this mid bath, this door pivots like this so that while the doors or while the coach is closed, you can get in and out of the bathroom. And as you'll note, we always have a really nice robe hook. Um, there, another feature I think which is highly underrated is this egress door. So the egress door is really nice. Um, first of all, you can load and unload things, but if there is an emergency and you need to escape, you can do that through this door. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I put like little notes about this RV all over the RV because there's so much stuff to cover and I try not to forget. Uh, one of the things we want to talk about is the fact that this does have the optional uh, shower seat here. So um, one of the things I think that's really important to talk about on this model and something that I like a lot about it, this is a 39 by 29 shower. Uh, a lot of times in this uh, Ventana offering we'll have a 35 inch radius shower. 
I like this square shower. It gives me a little more space to be able to put things um, over here in the uh, wall. So if I've got my shampoo and conditioner, uh, that's nice. I like this adjustable shower head that goes up and down with a removable wand. And then I love my overhead rain shower. I have a uh, nice skylight above me. So even if I'm a tall person, I'll be able to very easily take a very comfortable shower in here. And then I have the optional teak bench. Uh, what's nice about that is if I want to sit down and shave my legs, it's really important to understand having this um, square shape gives me more shoulder room. So if I'm a big guy or if I just want to be able to reach down and use my razor, I have a little more room in this RV because of the, the shape of the shower. Now you'll note here, here's our Aquamizer system. So one of the things that happens with the Aquaview system is Aquaview Aquamizer, if you have it turned on this way, you're fresh water is rotating or recirculating through the coach and it's leaving the, the water tank, the 105 gallon water tank and going back into that tank and becoming warmer and warmer and warmer. Uh, so this does have a uh, continuous hot water option. Uh, this is the Truma system. Now, if you turn it this way, then the water starts to come out into the shower and goes into the gray water tank. So this is designed so that you don't fill up that 75 gallon gray water tank. And it's a really, really, really cool system. Uh, these two buttons are to turn on either the overhead or the handheld shower. Um, and then this little light just changes colors to let you know that that's all happened. Now, Jody's gonna show you over here on the other side where you've got a bunch of outlets. So you've got your uh, grounded 110 outlets here. There's your potty flush, your toilet paper holder, huge pantry um, for storage. If you've got, you know, suntan lotion, bug spray, whatever that might be. Um, really attractive, very modern looking sconce uh, over our vanity light over the top of this. And then really nice space here. Uh, in your medicine cabinet so plenty of room for a full family and i love these glass uh, subway tiles i think it's just so classy looking and then i also really really like the vessel sink above it gives you just a little more counter space and then tons of space here to keep uh, your sheets towels linens things along those lines so really really nice um, all of these are going to have the fantastic fans with the um, rain sensor above and like I said, just a really, really nice central bath um, with a whole bunch of cool features that you don't find. Uh, that egress door is something that you won't find on any other line. And again, accessible while you're in motion going down the road, which is a big, big deal. Uh, so this model, when we get up here past the galley into the main living quarters, has a whole uh, slew of fantastic features. One of them is this new theater seating. Um, I really, really love this. Um, first and foremost, uh oh, I don't have I don't have any power on here. Um, I don't have the RV running today. Sorry, I didn't plug it in. It's just um, I can't use the weather as an excuse. It's like 70, um, but really we have solar on top, so there's really no reason to plug in because I've got enough to keep my refrigerator going, and I can run all of my outlets and my lights. Um, all of that being said, these theater seats are spectacular, and I love. So Jody, come on, show them the center console here. So a nice place to keep your remotes and such, but take a look at all of this under space here. So tons of great storage. If you are like me and you've got pillows, throw pillows, blankets, things like that, what a nice place to keep them. And then these theater seats are so comfortable and down here in the controls, there are USB ports on either one. So I just absolutely love that. I am gonna put my TV down so Jody can turn around and show us uh, dropping that television. I think that that's just so cool. Look at that big, beautiful window. And as you'll note, all of the windows in the coach have uh, openings uh, so you can, you can slide those windows open. And what's nice about these is the way that they open is they actually pop out. Um, and so when they pop out, if it's raining, it's not opening it this way, the rain will still not come into the coach. So we really like that feature uh, on this RV. And again, you know, under $400,000 for so much quality is just really, really a great offering. So more storage up here. Uh, again, a Bose sound bar, so great sound system, whether it be for, you know, hooking into your phone or by using maybe the radio on the front of the RV, whatever you like, playing surround sound for a great movie. Uh, whatever it may be that you're using it for but more storage here great place to keep some board games and then although we have theater seating we still have sleeping accommodations in this 37 foot coach so 
really, really awesome uh, to have so much flexibility and so much comfort. So if you are a couple that travels and does not oftentimes have um, littles with you, there we go. Okay, so if you don't have this handle out, it becomes pretty difficult to open this bed. But if you use this when you're pulling it out, it's really easy to open and close. Uh, seat belts down here. And then just a really nice offering here. One thing I really like is they've done away with the air mattress. So there's no more inflating or uninflating. Uh, you just have a really comfortable bed. I would probably sleep this way um, personally because it's a little bit more lifted, but it's a very, very comfy bed. Um, and when I say that, it's important because I have a 13 year old who's totally picky about where she sleeps. And this would be perfectly fine for her and a friend. Uh, it's a full queen. Uh, there are two seat belts underneath here as well. So you've got that going for you. If you want to travel with your grands, you got a little bit of extra room. Oh, getting a little crazy there. Make sure I get those down. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have locked that into place already. Okay, minor video malfunction. Well, we're gonna go ahead and move on past that. I don't know how I jammed it, but I did drop it pretty hard. Um, that's a really easy fix though. Um, I'm sure I just need to release that handle. So I'll put those back. That did not happen when I was practicing for the video, so I don't think it's broken. I think I just dropped it a little too tough, but that's okay. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that because we've got too much more to cover. Um, so another thing that I wanna make sure we cover here is this other bed that you have available to you. Um, I read the comments a lot, so please keep in mind, these are um, live videos, so it's really tough for us uh, to cover everything every time, but we try. We try really hard. But I wanted to show, because someone had asked and said it would be very useful to see um, the bed extended. So we're gonna do that today. And one thing that's nice about seeing this is that you also note that you have another seat belt here. So that means that we have with the two seat belts that we have underneath the couch and then this forward facing seat belts, we have uh, a total of one, two, three, four, five seating, um, five seats available with seat belts. This is really cool because if you have a rear facing car seat, you can actually put this down, put this in place, maybe not even use it uh, for the, uh, what do you call it, for the sleeping accommodations, but just put it down so that you can put that rear facing uh, car seat in this place because you would be able to use that car seat right here on top of this seat facing rear and there would be plenty of foot room for your baby on board, which is super, super nice. I know that you could see that uh, storage from overhead uh, when I opened it, but I wanna show you what it looks like when you open it from the outside. And then here we have this cushion that fits right here in the middle. And I am not gonna shove it all the way in, am I? It looks to be a little bit too big. Um, so I'm not quite sure how that's designed to work, but there you go. So there is your full uh, sleeping accommodation. I guess, could I get that in there? I don't know. I'm gonna do that on a follow-up video. I might need to order a smaller cushion for that couch. <laughs> Anyhow, so. Really nice sitting there. Again, if you do have a rear facing car seat, which is something a lot of people ask about, they would fit really well right there, which is awesome. And then here we'll just cover the last of our overhead cabbage storage. Like take a look at how deep that is. So you could very easily just put a board game sideways in there and keep you know, Monopoly, cribbage, whatever it would be that you would like to use very easily. And then here in the front is where we're gonna to get to a lot of the new information. So uh, there is an optional TV for this compartment. Um, I like the fact that you have no television facing forward. It's just, I'm gonna be spending my time looking out the window. And then you have all of this additional storage, which is so nice. 
and then you have mother station right here. So this is going to be your Truma water control. Um, your power control system here is going to tell you if you've got your inverter on. And also you've got your um, Magnum. This is a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, here you've got all of your tanks. So this is where you could see your uh, water pump, your tank heat. Uh, this does have the optional 110 volt outlet tank, uh, tank heat. Also, you have your HVAC system. So again, we don't have this turned on or plugged in today, but as you can see, it's a balmy 72 degrees outside. There was no reason to run, uh, run the heat. Uh, this does run off of a furnace. It will be using propane. Uh, there is an all electric option available with hydronic heat as well. If you had that, you would also get uh, the hydronic water heat. This coach has the optional Truma system, which gives you a tankless hot water heater. Uh, the all electric version would include that and give you also radiant heat uh, in the way of hydronic heat underneath the coach. Uh, so this is gonna be your control for your uh, slides and we will pull those in today just so we can take a look and see um, how much room we have on this in this RV when we're you know, going down the open road. So I think that that's really handy. And you'll note that that table is really gonna kind of identify how much room we're gonna have in terms of overall walking. Oh, let me move my seat forward just a little. Uh, one thing, you know, I always recommend checklists to people. Uh, one thing to note is that you really, really, really wanna have a checklist. And one thing you'll put on there is to make sure your driver's seat is far enough forward for when you're pulling your slides in because you can do some damage uh, to your to your slide if you don't have that seat in far enough or you could rip the leather on your on your really nice seat so here we go so there's your lock right here so that's going to keep your slide locked out which is really nice and you'll see here my my walking space i have to turn sideways a little bit um, but my walking space is really, really good. I just go sideways and now I can go in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this rear bed in because I want to make sure that we can kind of see. Uh, here we go. See what this coach looks like all buttoned up. I know when we started our video today, we had all of the slides out. And I did say earlier that this is a three slide unit. It's actually a four slide because there's two slides in the bedroom. There's a um, bedroom slide on the driver and passenger side, and this bathroom is stationary. So uh, another option, uh, or another floor plan that we option out that way is the 4334, which is that, uh, that uh, model that we have that has the desk in it. It's also a four slide unit. Um, but it's nice. It's something uh, Newmar has really uh, maximized uh, the floor plan on this coach by offering us this fourth side. So one thing that's really nice about a, a unit like this is that because this bed is um, not something that has to be uh, folded out, you can actually camp in this unit with all of your slides closed and have full access to your uh, to your bedroom even if you don't have your slides out so that's really handy and then i'm going to go ahead and pull in this last slide so as you'll see the refrigerator and the cabinets all come in but that but that countertop just stays right there in place Hopefully I didn't put that bag too far over on the edge. So you can see how cool is that? It just reaches right out and that faucet is positioned just perfectly so that you can get it completely closed up. But like I said, really nice walking space here um, and you have complete access to the bathroom. You also could open the microwave so you can do all of your cooking while you're moving. You've got access to all of these drawers and to the trash can, just not to where the cleaning supplies would be. And so you could open your refrigerator doors all the way, get access to your sodas. And then again, this door pivots. And as you can see, it looks like it might be a challenge, but it's really not a challenge at all to get in and out of this bathroom while you're in motion. So that's a really, really nice feature of this RV. Um, sometimes someone might wanna pull up and camp uh, and maybe not um, put their slides out, stop, you know, at a Walmart or something like that, just because it's a footprint and they're 
from our footstep, they're just on their way down the road, uh, you would be able to pull over and camp in this RV without actually um, putting all of your slides out, which is awesome. Okay, so let's talk about some of these newer systems that we have here. First of all, um, this beautiful all glass dash has been slightly reconfigured in uh, 2022, but it's super nice that we have um, all of our digital display here. As you can see, these coaches come in with just over a thousand miles when they come out from Napanee. And so we've got our trip computer, we've got access to our gauges, our fuel economy, our configuration, diagnostics. So we're going to go into these menus and I'll just show you so you can see if there's any kind of internal diagnostics that you need to run, system information for instance. Um, really, really cool that you have all of this um, plug-in system so these, these technicians can really go through and look at um, your RV and have a nice quick dash read so they can really do quick online um, you know, list of faults, if there was anything going wrong, they can really have a better idea as to what's going on with your vehicle. Uh, the vehicle configuration, this is nice. You can actually change this if you would like to set uh, your steering effort for your comfort drive to be higher. Uh, this would keep your steering wheel more straight forward in crosswinds. And if you wanted to have less of that influence of comfort drive, you could turn it down. Um, I think comfort drive is fantastic. If you've ever driven eight hours in a gale forced wind without comfort drive, you know how much driver fatigue you have. With comfort drive steering, you don't have that driver's fatigue. It is another one of those differences above and beyond the diesel engine and the torque rating and the towing capacity to look at a Ventana. Uh, the Star Foundation is another reason, but we'll get into that outside. Comfort drive though and V-Ride are really important. This is the comfort drive right here. Um, you can change your units if you're used to metric. Uh, you can do that. If you're Canadian, maybe. Set up your Bluetooth, change your dash brightness. All of those things are nice. And then your fuel economy. You can see what your fuel economy is. You can reset it so you can track it. And then you've got your gauges. So you can see here. Oops, let's go back into that. You can see what gear you're in. You can see how hot you are. You can. All of those things are right there. And then your trip computer, you can see how many uh, hours that RV has been on. You can hit OK and reset that. So you can reset your trips really easily. That way you can track how long you've been on the road. Super nice, right? Just push and hold. It tells you how much fuel it took you to get through the miles that you drove. Um, oh, I guess I didn't reset that. I'll push and hold that again. There we go. So really, really nice features here. Uh, on this RV. Um, of course, you have everything right here. So you can see your pressure, you can see your oil temperature, you can see your battery rating. Um, everything is right here. You can see your fuel gauge very clearly. And then most importantly, you've got a speed, you've got a speed indicator right there. So really, really nice features on this RV. Um, of course, we've got these great dash vents. As you'll note, I can twist them the whole way around 180 degrees or 360 degrees and change the positioning of them so I can really get that air to blow right on me. Um, I've got, of course, my headlights, power mirrors. They are also heated with defrost, which is nice. There's uh, turn indicators on the mirrors as well. Um, if you would like to uh, start your RV and you're having a little bit of a low battery, you can boost it by either holding house or chassis down, which is nice. Cup holders here. Air horn is on. I think they'll hear you coming. You can turn that off if you want to be a little less obnoxious. <laughs> I think the air horn is awesome. Uh, and then here, our equalizer system. So uh, in a future video, I promise I'll log in uh, to our phone app and I'll be able to show you where you can actually download the equalizer app, the Numar app. There's a whole bunch of applications that you can use uh, for this RV uh, to actually offer you um, control over your equalizer system. You can also, uh, there's a lot of parks that, applications you can use. There's a Freightliner app if you want to see all the Freightliner service centers that are around you. So Numar has an app. Everyone's got apps out that make driving an RV so much easier these days. Uh, right here you have your pedals go in and out. So for those of us that are vertically challenged or very long-legged, 
We've got our pedal control right here, which is a really, really nice feature. And then another thing that I really like uh, above and beyond comfort drive is that I have my engine brake right here on my stock and so is my uh, transmission. So I'm still running that Allison transmission. It's still six speed, but it's really nice. Uh, there's a whole class on how to use all of your abilities to change their driving settings to get better fuel efficiency. But it's just so nice that it's stock controlled because it gives you so much more room on the side over here. Of course, Numar is still giving you all of this great storage, which is really, really handy and um, visor and shade control. So of course that's just bringing our visor down. Uh, needless to say, with the engine running right now, it'll only go to a certain level. So that's as far down as it will go. And then you have these blackout shades again throughout the entire RV. So if you're concerned about um, being able to sleep in the front for the littles, there's plenty of, um, plenty of darkness for them. They can, you can go ahead and get them nice and comfortable. Uh, you'll note here that we have um, look at the clarity of this camera. I mean, how cool is this? You can really see everything behind you. Oh, there, there goes Larry. That's from our video that we did uh, about an hour ago. Um, but anyway, great clarity. Uh, so if you need help with parking. And then this is going to have the new uh, Nav and Go menu. Uh, so I love uh, oops, our Nav system here. Nav and Go does allow you to uh, go ahead and put in the weight rating and the the specifications the length again 37 feet 10 inches long on this unit um, it puts everything in and then you can actually uh, know that it's going to help you avoid uh, any kind of bridges that are you know weight restricted or height restricted for instance uh, in your navigation system and Navingo replaced Rand McAnally and one of the nice things about this is that it does not require a sim card to update it it's actually wireless now which is really really cool um, some people don't note that uh, in the, some of the higher end models, they've done away with this nine volt here, or sorry, 12 volt receptacle. So you cannot operate your radar detectors. I think that that's really nice that they still have this here. Uh, of course, you've got your locks, USB ports, uh, your climate control here for the front, and then uh, generator starts right here. There's also a generator start outside. So um, parking brake release, I think we've covered most of it. Um, phone controls here for Bluetooth, which is of course really, really uh, convenient, and also your cruise control um, features here. So all of this stuff is just really, really nice, easy access uh, to everything that you might need to see. Uh, on your dash and again this is slightly reconfigured uh, this year but really really cool that they've actually you know set this up so that you can very easily um, see everything just like you would expect to in one of the newer cars that are out there um, now in terms of your seats they do turn around you do have a really nice footrest here so you do have your recliners uh, so this RV has in all actuality uh, four recliners. Another uh, thing that's worth mentioning is if you'll notice even on the driver and passenger side there are armrests for both sides of the seats. Um, the release to put them up and down is right here on the inside. Um, but what's so nice about it is, is you can actually set them to be uh, whatever height you'd like for being comfortable for yourself but there's armrests for both sides and I do talk to a number of people where there might be only one armrest so I know having two armrests when you're driving eight hours, you want to be comfy, and these are really comfy seats. Um, also, you'll note that behind this seat, there's another two 110 outlets. So, if you've got anything like a CPAP machine or anything that you need to plug in while you're driving, you've got access there. And this is going to be the number one thing that separates New Numar from the rest of the pack. Um, so you see Erica Miller here. She is a representative. Um, most of the Numar employees have been with the company on average eight years. Uh, some of our uh, employees have been with us for 35 years. Um, a lot of employees have been there for over 20 years. Um, and one of the reasons people like to work for Numar is they really have their act together. They're a family owned organization. Winnebago, of course, bought Numar out uh, about two years ago, uh, but they're still run uh, by the same group of people. They still have all their same employees. It's a really family oriented organization. Uh, they'll take a few, you know, a few weeks off for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. They really put family above everything else even in these times where we're really, you know, struggling to make enough RVs for everybody to enjoy. They understand that people need to have rest and relaxation and that we work 
to live, not live to work. Um, and one of the things that I think is so impressive is that they have, you know, 50 bays, 60 campsites. If you have an issue that needs to be addressed uh, but for service, or maybe you just want to get your regularly scheduled service, Numar is going to invite you in uh, to their organization, be face to face and accountable for the product that they manufactured with pride, and they're going to be able to take care of issues that you might have. They, you know, assign a team leader that comes in and helps to address anything that might need to be fixed. And there's no other organization out there like that. But on top of that, Erica has an 800 number here that you call. You know, you call this 866 540 9595 number, and you can send her an email at ventanaservice at newmarkcorp.com. And if it's an emergency, you're going to have someone get back to you because that phone forwards to her after she gets off work. And she's there as a specialist, as a brand specialist, to make sure that you have a uninterrupted grand camping time and that you have the support that you need um, while you're camping. And that is so um, really important and fantastic. Uh, what a great, um, what a great level of service provided by Numar. Now, I also wanted to show you over here some other nice features. Again, more 110 receptacles. I don't know if you can see this, Jody. Uh -huh. Also, more USB ports. So, so much access to electricity up here. Um, again, another 12 volt. Your cable outlet right here, and then a wireless charging dock. So, you just put your phone down on top of here, and this charges automatically, which is super cool. Um, and then also you've got your step cover. So let's just show what that looks like. Cause a lot of people ask me if there's a nice step cover. Of course, there's a fantastic step cover. So I can stand on this. It's got plenty of um, heft to it. And if I have a small pet, it, they're not gonna get, you know, stuck falling down in there if we take a sharp turn. And again, we have all of these really magnificent vents um, that have all of this directional change here. And then, of course, um, you know, we understand people are, again, working on the road a lot these days. So we have this really nice driver's workstation with a cup holder so that if you are, you know, maybe you're the navigator, maybe you're getting payroll out, whatever it might be, you've got this really handy uh, desk that you can put up right here. Um, another thing I want to cover is that we have lock and unlock right here. Uh-oh. Don't want to lose that. So right here next to our battery disconnect, there's a lock and unlock button. Uh, these bay compartments will lock automatically whenever you put the car, or put the coach into drive. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Um, and it's really nice to be able to lock and unlock your bay compartment without having to um, go through with a key and lock each one. So that's just right here. And then there's your battery disconnect. Of course, we've got our fire extinguisher. And then I'm gonna grab my phone. Sorry, everybody. Jody, come on out. And uh, one thing I wanted to talk about is our doorbell. So I really love the fact that we have a keyless lock and a nice doorbell so that you know when someone's coming to visit. So you don't have to bring your keys with you. You can uh, change this lock to match whatever you like it to be. And then if you have pets, or even if you don't, this is just a great place to keep dog food or cat food. And then also a nice place to keep leashes and water bowls. Uh, really, really cool feature there. And then on top of that, a really nice durable screen to keep your pooches in. Um, this you can hand things through without having to open and close it. So if you've got a kitty or something like that, pretty cool there. And then of course you've got a really nice window here so you can see if uh, you've got a, somebody coming to visit you who's coming to visit. Oh, and uh, so we have a standard feature, of course, we've got our, uh, our camera system here, so you can see kind of a video of whoever's to the left or right of you when you're driving, when you turn your turn signal indicators on, uh, which I think is great. And then you've got these beautiful convex mirrors, and of course, I mentioned to you earlier that they are both power and they are heated. Now, uh, one thing I can't speak highly enough of, uh, first of all, it's really nice to have the fuel tank right here at the front of the coach, so you don't have to go all the way around to the back. So a nice feature that you'll have here on Ventana, you do have a 100 gallon fuel capacity. Um, and then this, this cabinet here is pre-wired for a, um, a Dometic uh, freezer. So if you want to put a freezer slide tray and Dometic freezer outside here, it's pre-wired. 
I'll tell you, wiring this cabin is really expensive to do aftermarket. I did one this weekend on a Renegade. It was almost $1,700 uh, to get the power run up to the front. So it's really nice that Numar offers an optional uh, pre-wire into this cabinet. If it's something that might be important to you down the road, make sure that you ask for that option. Um, and of course, tons of storage space. Uh, these are all 1,000 pound weight readings and they come out at a 60% extension. So you have, even with your slides out, plenty of, um, plenty of room here. Now this RV has the standard awning. So if you can see how long this is, uh, there is an optional awning package where you would have two awnings, but this awning goes all the way down to, the bed, to that bedroom window. So that back portion does not extend. Um, it's really breezy today. We kind of knew there's a storm coming in tonight. So it's a little bit windy. I don't have the awning out. It does have LED lights underneath, but it's a huge awning. So um, whenever I'm building out one of these Ventanas, uh, people will say, well, what do you think about both awnings? I always say, get them. But if it's too expensive, that's the first option I'd cut because this is a really nice awning without having to spend that extra money. Um, now, here is your other slide tray. So these are both optional features again, um, but look at how big that is. And it's just really nice. It comes all the way out, really easy to access and load. And then you'll notice here again, you do have access to your 22 gallon uh, propane tank on this side as well. So if you wanted to be able to run, um, I always like the Outlander barbecue, I'm sorry, Outlander fire pits. You could run your Outlander fire pit off of your 22 gallon propane tank. Uh, from this side of the coach as well, which is nice because of course that's where your television and sound bar are. It's where your awning is. It's where your TV is. Uh, so this television, um, a lot of people go, oh, I don't know if I really want to have my TV out here. I really think you do. Uh, one of the nicest aspects of having your TV out here is if you have camp chairs and you don't have tall bar stools, this is really at the height that you're going to want it. And I love the fact that it's got it set so that it can hold this, uh, this cover in place and keep the glare off of the TV. Uh, so this actually makes it much more watchable. If you are a football fan, this is a great RV for tailgating. I would love to take this to a Broncos game. I think it'd be so much fun. Um, now this one does have a little bit longer wheelbase. There are two, uh, two of the 37 foot coaches that have a slightly longer wheelbase. Uh, the 3717 is one of them. You'll note that we have these really spectacular 22 and a half inch rims. Uh, or tires, that's going to give you a really, really nice road presence. And again, if you are going to be towing something really heavy and you want to go into a 40 foot, you still have pretty good park access um, and you would have a tag axle. So this is a single axle, so this is going to be very easy to, uh, to turn and park. If you go longer in the Ventana, you would have a passive steer tag axle. Um, and I would be happy to kind of talk about the benefits of that when you're towing something heavier. Uh, please feel free, of course, you can reach out to me. All of our contact information is online. Um, here's another nice little storage compartment, as you can see. And then here you have your chassis batteries. And this is a really nice on off switch. So we saw the house switch was right inside the door, uh, right here along the same passenger side is your chassis system. You can turn that off in the house system. You don't have to worry about coming out to a dead battery, especially being that even when you have this coach completely turned off, all of your batteries are still being charged by your solar panels. So those uh, four flexible solar panels, those 100 watt panels on top are still charging these batteries currently, which is why I don't have anything running today and I can just do my video. If I wanted to run my air conditioning, I would have to have the generator on or be plugged in. But needless to say, it's 70 degrees in Colorado. We're really happy about this November weather because this is pretty awesome. Uh, so you'll see here, really big radiator right here in the back. Uh, here is your seven pin connector. It's all right here. And then also you'll note that we have this airline. So what's really nice about this is this has got something called brake sync and brake sync is a really fantastic offering by Freightliner. Uh, Freightliner actually has a separate container that's fully charged with air so that if you lose your braking power and you are trailering and are, uh, uh, are flat towing a car, you still have a 
you still have a fully charged brake line so you can still operate the brakes on your tow vehicle. Of course, if you're something that goes wrong with your airline on your air brakes, the coach will stop automatically. But this uh, brake sync actually allows you to um, have braking capacity for your tow vehicle as well, which is really fantastic. Again, 10,000 pound hitch on this, uh, on this bad boy, up to 15 if you go into our 40 foot segment. So lots and lots of towing capacity, plenty, I mean 5,000 pound towing capacity on a base star is really enough to flat tow pretty much most vehicles. This is more than capable. Um, I love, there's our rear view backup camera. These are those fantastic new graphics that we have. This is the Colfax exterior. Um, I had zero problems finding an outfit to match this RV today. Um, I just love this look by Numar. Uh, again, this has got the optional ladder. So you've got your ladder here. And then here in your rear compartment, we have, uh, you can plug in your uh, engine block heater. You also have just a little extra storage, great place to keep a lawn chair, one of those flat foldable lawn chairs. Oh, I didn't talk about the mud flap, uh, but the mud flap's a standard feature. It's optional in some lines, but Numar just understands the importance of it. Plus it's kind of like bragging rights. It's like, look at me, I have a Numar. So they, <laughs> they want that on the back. Uh, here's your 50, uh, 50 amp, power reel. This is power. It's not an optional feature on the Ventana. It just comes standard as a power reel. And it's really, really a nice feature to have uh, because these things get cold and dirty and yucky and you don't have to touch them. You just push the button, roll it up, you're good to go. Uh, this coach does have the optional surge protector as well. And it does have the optional 110 volt heat pads uh, available for your tank. So this has got heated tanks as well. So this is very much an all season coach. Um, we of course carry those because most people that are getting out in the open road these days are realizing that, you know, camping near your favorite uh, resort could be cold and a great place to maybe go snowshoeing, but you could stay there all winter long and be really comfortable in a Numar, which is really, really important. Um, so a 10 gallon def tank, uh, is a standard feature on the 37 foot models. Uh, the 40s will have a 13 gallon tank. And then this is just a nice compartment to keep your black water hose. So you can keep that Yiki hose in a little compartment with your gloves. I love that feature. I think that that's so nice. Um, and of course, your deaf filling station is here. Uh, so when you stop and fuel up, you can fuel up on the driver's side and the passenger side and fill up your deaf tank all at the same time. Uh, so that's a really great feature. Now take a look at this bay. How nicely outlaid is this? This has got so much room. Um, one of the new features that we're gonna have uh, for, for this RV is that we have a black and gray water rinse in the 2022 models. You also have hot and cold water outside along with your shower head. Of course, you've got your power hose reel once again. Just really nice not to have to worry about rolling something up and packing it away, you just push the button. Uh, this is your whole house water filter. Um, and I, like I said, I really do like that you have um, both hot and cold water out here for your shower, because if you're washing off your paddle board, it doesn't care if it's cold, but if you're trying to wash off your six-year-old, they might have a little bit of an objection if it, you know the water temperature is 55 degrees. So really nice feature there. Um, again, look at the huge amount of storage of course, uh, you'll note that this is built on the star foundation. So we can see right here, this kind of a Z-shaped foundation. What you have here is this weight is being forced down to the center of this RV. And this floor has been raised up off of the chassis rail. What's really important about understanding, about, uh, understanding this is that that is giving you a much, much uh, more solid drive, much less sway. And then what you can't see underneath here is V-Ride. V-Ride is a Freightliner feature that basically takes the center of the coach and wishbones it out so that your, your, your center is pushed out here instead of being in the middle. So your, your weight distribution is on your outside wheels instead of being in the center of the RV. And that gives you a lot less tip in the mountain. So you've got comfort drive. You've got your star foundation that stands for strong, true, and robust. You've got your, um, your V-Ride. You've got your brake sync. All of these features really separate Numar from the rest of the pack. If you haven't driven a Numar, 
and you start, you'll never drive anything else unless you get a Prevo. And I'm here for you because if you want to get a Prevo, we're a Prevo dealership too. But I'll tell you, there's nothing above the ride of a Numar RV. And if you would like to put that out uh, to the test, we have a fantastic test drive and incredible uh, Rocky Mountain view here at Trans West in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, so I wanted just to show you this once again. We have, again, these are 60% extent. So these come all the way out past the midpoint. So even if you have your slide out, you can still load them. Uh, some extra tile. Of course, we've got that beautiful porcelain tile inside. Um, this is going to be the line for your hot water line, which we have in the generator bay. That is also an optional feature. And then here, uh, that 19.7 cubic refrigerator also came with two extra house batteries. So now you've got a two additional six, six volt batteries for a total of six volt or six batteries underneath this coach. That coupled with your solar on top really makes this a very much uh, a great boondocking coach. So for those of you that are looking to get off the open road and really want to get, you know, maybe out of the parks and into some more private areas, this is the RV for you. There's so much land out there that you can go camp on, uh, you know, across the country where there's no 50 amp. This is the RV that will get you there comfortably. Uh, so here's your 22 gallon uh, propane tank. I know we made mention of that earlier. And then here again, another diesel filling station, again with 100 gallons of diesel fuel on this RV. Uh, here you'll see we have a few extra fuses and then the rest of that motherboard, uh, very easy for a technician to, uh, to access. And again, having that rear engine diesel is so nice because it gives us the availability, uh, as I mentioned earlier, of keeping this, um, this generator here and in front. So this is so cool because if you're camping and your auto gen turns on in the middle of the night because maybe your battery got low or maybe your, um, your coach got too cold, your generator's up here. Again, this is an eight kilowatt Onan generator. And then right here you have hot water, well, which is an optional feature to the front. This is great if you need to get the bugs off of your windshield. Great access point right here. That's what that hose was for. And then this airline here, of course, is awesome because if you need to fill up an, a tire, uh, you got a place where you could actually access air for your vehicle. Um, so super nice feature there. Let me just put this down. So again, this is a Numar Ventana. This is a 3717. Uh, this was a special order for my friend Grant's client. Uh, Miss Fields, thank you so much for allowing us to make a video of your RV today. I promise I didn't break the couch. <laughs> um, I'll put it back, I'll take a picture, send it to Grant so you know everything's okay. Uh, but no, thank you so much for allowing us to get this information out there for the general public. If you call a sales associate and they say they can't get you an RV, they're lying. They're just lazy. I can get you an RV. Give me a call. My name's Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. I have 24 units coming in on order. I would love to make you number 25. You can have an RV. You can have a great price. You can have a fantastic experience. And you can be just like Mrs. Fields and you can have a Ventana just like this all for you. Oh, let me go close that door. Oh. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Uh, thank you so much for shopping at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. And let us get you on the road. Happy camping.